How are you supposed to select a polyphasic sleep schedule to adapt to when you're working the third shift? This is a pretty tricky shift to design polyphasic sleep schedules around, but I'll help you figure out how to solve this issue. I hope you watch this video to the end so you don't miss out all the points I'm going to say. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. So this video is a continuation in our mini-series on the different work schedules and how to sleep polyphasically on them, um, with previous videos, videos covering the first shift and the second shifts at work. If this applies to you best, I mean the third shift, I suggest uh, you watch this video, but if you instead are working the first shift or second shift, go watch those videos instead, okay? Well, <laughs> you can also watch this video, but be sure to also watch the relevant video for you. Uh, the links to those videos will be in the description. So what's the third shift at work? Well, uh, it usually runs from 12 o'clock in the night to 8 in the morning, or 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. Um, this is a pretty rough time frame to work with when you're deciding polyphasic schedules, because most cores are going to be scheduled around those times. If you have the ability to nap at work, uh, that's better for sure, but it's still going to be tricky to be able to successfully modify several of the standard polyphasic sleep schedules to be adaptable without shifting your circadian rhythm. Um, although out of all the shifts we have discussed this far, uh, this is certainly the hardest one to integrate into your polyphasic life. With the third shift in mind, you're going to want to take your SWS-focused core either before or after your shift starts, uh, whereas an earlier core would demand uh, much less of a circadian shift, and would thus be easier to adapt to. The downside is that you risk tearing apart your social life uh, due to many social occasions taking place in the evening. Uh, so lots of factors to consider here for sure. And this is partially the reason why third, shift, third work shifts are hard to schedule around. Um, I want to talk about another downside with third shift work schedules in general. Uh, being in third shift uh, long term has been linked to several systematic uh, systemic diseases like shift work disorder, which is associated with an increased risk of gastrointestinal problems, cancer, depression, heart disease, uh, excessive sleepiness and accidents. Uh, and decreased productivity or directly associated with many problems such as depression, sleep deprivation, decreased cognitive performance, increased human error and fatigue. Uh, chronic sleep deprivation is also associated with shift work, so <laughs> yeah, lots of negatives and if possible I would really avoid that you stay on the third shift schedule longer than necessary. But you're not here to be schooled on what choices you, you make, Instead, you're here to learn what to do and what not to do, okay? So let's talk about what to do. Let's start by assessing a work schedule where you work from uh, 12 in the morning to 8 in the morning and are allowed to take one nap during that time. In that case, every man 2 to every man 3 are totally possible to pull off uh, if your scheduled course starts before work, but the, shore, the course could be scheduled to start after the shift. Uh, unfortunately, I wouldn't expect the dual course schedules to work here, but it's stretching the possibility for sure, you know, the large gap between the course. Um, I wouldn't also recommend uh, Tricore 1 or Tricore 2 for the same reason, you're going to have so little sleep in the night gap on these schedules. Uh, with the biphasic schedules, every man 1 should be schedulable uh, if the core, the core is starting either before or after the shift. Uh, segmented sleep should also be doable with one core before the shift, one core after the shift. Uh, and this is like doable, but hard to pull off for several reasons. First, you would need to have the dark period at least partially cover the work shift, uh, which can lead to issues uh, depending on what work you do. Second, the sleep peaks are roughly 9 hours apart from each other, so the sleeps 
uh, that are scheduled eight hours apart from each other don't allow for much of the peaks of both peaks to be harnessed you know um, then there's siesta uh, which is probably one of the best uh, schedules for this shift you schedule the main court start either before or after work and it should be overall a pretty nice situation to be in with the nap on schedules in mind that they only work for people with short sleep needs uh, quite a few of them are actually really forgiving on third shift schedules as long as you are able to nap frequently enough you they should work for this shift but again this is only for people who naturally sleep less than six hours a night on monophasic so <laughs> it's clear not something for the vast majority of people around the world um, if you are unable to nap during your work shift at all or the uh, designated sleep times or break time shift depending on the day um, I would suggest doing one of the biphasic schedules so no everyman schedules and no nap only schedules uh, either way this is really unfortunate and restrictive um, <laughs> Okay, but this has thus far been a pretty negative video. Um, don't do this, don't do that, so on. Uh, but let's change it around and talk a bit about what you should be able to do on the dual core and the tri core schedules on the third shift at work. What you want to do here is a so called circadian shift. Essentially, you trick your body into thinking that it's in a different time zone than what it actually is, so the optimal sleep times are automatically shifted. Uh, you do this by having a dark period during the time when you want to sleep. Uh, in, case, in this case it will probably be during the morning, like 8 in the morning to 4 in the day. And schedule your sleep times so that they are relative to the shifted peak times. So on a normal bodily rhythm your SWS peak is 9 in the evening to 12 at night and in this case you would for example have the SWS peak from 8 in the morning to 11 in the morning. Um, and this is all pretty complicated uh, but we have a series on the dark period and a course on the dark period where this is explained much more in detail uh, and if you watch that or take the course, it'll for sure be much clearer to you than what I just explained. <laughs> I, I understand that you probably didn't get much of that, but you trick your body into shifting your circadian rhythm by thinking it's in a different time zone and thus the ability to sleep during the day will be greatly enhanced and you won't suffer the same consequences that you from having a broken or interrupted circadian rhythm that usually happens on third shift work schedules. Um, in the future we also want to create a video specifically talking about how to monitor the shifting of circadian rhythm and what exactly to do here uh, like we have in the dark period course. So if you haven't already be sure to subscribe so you don't miss when we release that video. Okay, I hope you got some ideas on what schedules to attempt on a third shift work schedule. Uh, just to review it, you want to do the biphasic schedules and sometimes the nap only schedule if you are able to do them. Everyman 2 and Everyman 3 are also possible if your, uh, if your work allows breaks during the work time. Don't attempt dual core schedules and don't attempt tri core schedules. Um, okay. Please tell me in the comments below if you have any experience sleeping polyphasically on the third shift work schedule and how it went. Also please ask if you have any questions regarding what I talked about in this video. In the future we're going to expand uh, into talking about other shifts too and how to schedule polyphasic sleep schedules around them. So again consider subscribing. These would be uh, work shifts that change or that are longer than usual and so on. Okay, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Remember to have pleasant naps, people!